today I've come up to Norwich to meet some of the guys from our contact centre. They're going to be trying out splash photography and freezing motion using the Boeing's XMS 1000 studio lights. Ilfa, a really talented photographer who's a team leader in our contact centre, is running the shoot. So we're going to go talk to her and find out how they've set up the lights and also what they're trying to capture. Let's go and meet her. So Ilfa, what made you want to do a shoot like this? So freezing motion, I've been very intrigued by it. I've done it before with powder, but I've never done it with liquid. Um, the reason why we've gone with staged blood is because it's a bit bloopy. Um, you can see through it, so it's better than paint. Um, when you get the light coming from behind and you can shoot it, it creates a texture within the blood. So yeah, just really excited to give it a go. From what I can see, this is a great location, but what about this place made it a good location for you? I just think the way that it looks, uh, the textures on the wall, the big windows, they, the light that comes in here, it's just really good to use as a, a bit of a fill-in light. We wanted a place that looks a bit derelict without it being messy, so I think the white walls, the textures on the floor, it's just, it creates a really great look. So what type of lighting setup have you gone for today? So we've gone for very soft lighting. We've got an um, octobox, which is quite good for portraits. Um, we have it quite high up, so when you shoot it, um, it brings out the highlights of your cheeks quite well. Um, it's soft lighting because we don't want any harsh shadows. We've got a backlight, another soft box, just to bring out you know, the back of you from the background. Uh, just makes you stand out a little bit, but it's very soft lighting. So what settings are you using for the lights in the camera today? So these lights are quite powerful. We're not using them full powered, but it's quite bright in here. So ISO is low, it's about 200. Aperture, we're changing from about a 4 f5.6, but we actually got the shutter speed at 1000, just to freeze everything. So we have two different types of blood. This one is completely synthetic, so it has a different viscosity. It's also very transparent. It looks more like plastic when it's thrown. Although, um, when it splashes, it looks like it's dissolving in water, even though it's in the air, so it gives a really nice pattern and texture. This one's edible, on the other hand. Uh, this one stains more, so the model will have to take a shower after this, unfortunately, because those are natural ingredients. She can have it in her mouth, so in case we do want her to dribble a little bit or make it a bit more scary or more artiste, we can still do that. So um, to help with the viscosity and fluidity of the blood, I'm gonna mix it with a bit of water. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So in the background here, we have one light with a soft box on. That's just making sure the background isn't too dark. And it's also highlighting the model from the back because she's wearing a nice soft white dress. And that just gives a little bit of a highlight around the back of her body. Now, here we have a reflector that's just bringing the darkness up a little bit on this side. It's the only part of the image where we don't have much natural light coming through. We've got big windows above us, which is going straight down onto the model. And then we have the main light over here. So that's got an Octobox on, and that's giving a really nice soft light onto the model's face, just highlighting the cheeks. And also, because she's got very blonde hair, it just highlights the top of the bun, the top of the hair there as well. Ilfa's got her setup over here. So we've got the Max setup that's tethered to the A7R2 that we're shooting on today, which is on a tripod back there. And she's using Capture One to capture all of those images in. And she's shooting through that as well so she can see exactly what she's doing. And it's much nicer than working on a small camera screen to be able to look at that big laptop screen, make sure your focus is bang on and your exposure's completely right too. We're just about ready to start throwing around some fake blood. We're just doing some test shots now. Ilfa's running the camera at a thousandth shutter speed, F4 and we're at ISO 320 because we've got pretty good ambient light in here anyway. And then we're doing high speed sync with the Boeing's XMS 1000th, which is a great feature that they have, means you can do this sort of thing. And they are both running just above half power. So there's so much more they can give if you're running in an atmosphere that's a lot darker than this or you're further away from your model. That's absolutely fine for these lights, but we're very lucky. We've got great light here so we can start chucking stuff around, really freezing that motion.
was incredibly messy, but the shoot looked fantastic. The images in Capture One are looking great, so I hope it looks just as impressive on your screens as it did on ours. The lights performed fantastically using that high-speed sync, just meant we could capture all of that motion. And also, I would say, because they were only on just above half power, you know, even if we were in brighter light and we were trying to overpower that, you'd have no problems with those Boeing's XMS 1000. Now, if you want to know more about those heads, the rest of the Boeing's range, or of course, any of the products you've seen in this video, you can, of course, pop onto our website where there's loads of information. You can also give us a call, send us an email, pop into any of our stores and speak to our experts, or of course, you can put a comment here and we'll try our best to get back to you with all the information that you could need. Thanks for watching.